I'm Steve for This Oak with Cars, and this week I wanted to share with you a new tool that I got. In previous videos, I've been using this little boroscope, and a lot of people have been complaining, telling me that I need to get a new boroscope, that this one is junk, they can't see anything. So today, hopefully, I have the solution to that problem. In this bag, I have a new boroscope from a company called Teslong. So you can see it is actually an articulating boroscope, so the end of it actually moves from side to side. You can angle it, you can see the cylinder walls. So let's take a look at it, see if it's any good. Inside the bag, this thing looks like a very quality item. And the cable on this thing is really long. Let's take a look at that real quick. You can see it's a lot bigger diameter than my old one. I think this is a third of an inch or so. So there may be holes that I can't get it down. I'll still need to hang on to this little one if there are some holes that I want to investigate and this one is too big to get in there. So this device is pretty simple. You can see it is in color there. It's not just black and white. If all you're going to be doing is looking into something and inspecting it, really easy to use. Just turn it on and that's the mode that it's in. There is a mode button you can switch between taking a picture, which is the mode I'm in right now, taking a video, and then replaying your pictures and videos, taking a look at what you have stored in the device. Then there's also a knob right here. As I spin this knob, it's actually moving that camera. And I thought that would be a really neat feature, and I'm sure that's going to come in really handy but that's as far as that turns. And that does not look like what's on this box. To me on the box, it looked like that it came back 180 degrees on itself, but it doesn't look like it's actually capable of that. And this one didn't come with a mirror either. For this one, I have a little mirror attachment that I slip on the end and that lets the camera look back on itself. So you can stick this down into a cylinder bore and take a look at the valves, take a look at the bottom of the head, things like that. Maybe this one will work just fine, but I wish that it turned a little bit more, not quite as much as it is on the pictures in the ad or here on the box. So let's take this over to a few vehicles and try it out. This here is my international travel all and internationals are very prone to rust especially the fuel tanks on my Scout. Both of the fuel tanks had rusted out. I had to replace them. I haven't been having any problems with this truck, but let's take a look in there and see what condition the fuel tank is actually in. I'm going to do this with both boroscopes so we can see if one is better than the other. First, I'll try the old boroscope. We can see that we're moving down, not really a good clear view of what we're looking at. We can tell that's a pipe right there though. Actually it looks in good shape. I wonder if steering the other one will help us get down. Is that pipe curves there? What is that? Almost looks like someone got a locking gas cap that's been dropped down in there. It kind of looked like a so you can see one problem is moving the camera around where you want it. Let's try the other boroscope, see if it's any better. I think I want to be mindful of the way it bends when I stick it down in there. So yeah, that's a lot clearer image. Look at that. There. See if I can bend that. That is the end of a gas cap. 
stuck down in the fill tube for my gas tank. I had no idea that that is in there. And being able to move that around definitely makes it a lot easier to view that. Hopefully you can see that. Next problem is how the heck do I get that out of there? It must have been a locking gas cap on here and someone didn't have the key. So they just hammered it until it fell in there. But the good news is I don't see any rust in here. Now let's try this out on an engine and see what we can see. I'll just take one of the spark plugs out. Again, first I'll try my old boroscope. There's the top of the piston, a little pitted. You can see just slight scoring there on the cylinder walls. Kind of have to use the top of the head here to cause it to bend so that you can aim it around so you can see where you want to look. And this one easily fits through the spark plug hole. Let's try the other one. Here's my new boroscope. I'll figure out which way I want to put that in there. Wow, that's a really good picture there. Let's straighten it out. Wow, look at that. I can even aim it right now. That is a really good picture. Oh, look at that. Can't bend it up all the way back on itself, but it's giving a pretty good image up there. Especially when I hold it near the top. I feel like if I twist it the right way. Yeah, look at that. So those are the two valves that we're looking at there. So it does twist back enough that we can see the valves on the top of the cylinder head. There's the valves and we'll twist down and there's the piston right there. That's pretty neat. What a neat device. I even found uh, something I didn't know about on my international travel all. And hopefully this will allow me to create a lot better videos. I can record what I'm seeing with the boroscope to the boroscope itself. And then over here underneath this cap, it actually comes with a 32 gigabyte memory card, which you can put into a computer. And there's also a USB port over here as well. If you want to get yourself one of these, I'll have a link to this in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.